What's going on, Minties? The Uncanny Omar here from Nearman Condition. By the way, I love that nickname. Thank you all so much. I'm sure there's some kind of copyright infringement with Disney and Marvel, but hey, we're going to lawyer up too because we already got a lawyer here at Nearman Condition. Shout out to Dan. Speaking of shout outs, this segment of Reviews in a Flash is brought to you by Darkstar916. And today I'm going to be talking about Barrier. This review is going to be spoiler free. Uh, I'm going to show some of the artwork inside because I think the artwork is what's important about this. This is the same team that did this book right here, Private Eye, um, done in this what I like to call calendar or widescreen format. And I'll be showing some of this art here. You can, If you enjoyed this review or if you enjoyed what I was talking about, you can try out some of the, or actually the entire series at the uh, panelsyndicate.com. You can go there and it, you can download it digitally. And it's one of those places that you can pay as you want. So you can pay a penny or a dollar or however much you want for the series. I think that's a wonderful thing to do. Uh, the series, however, is only collected in this slip case and that is the only way they're gonna do it in this printed format. All five issues are in here. And that's all there is. So pretty much Barrier is the story. It's done, actually, it's really cool. It's done in a dual narrative. So you have the story of Liddy who lives in Texas. She owns a farm, she owns a ranch. And at the beginning, you see one of her illegal immigrants, Balthasar, who works for her, find the head of a horse, one of her horses. So immediately she thinks, oh, it must be gang members that are trying to scare me off my property. That's not gonna happen. She takes it over to her police friend's office and she doesn't have very many friends. This is like one of her few friends. And he's like, Libby, I can't give you any manpower. You know, you know, it's probably not gang member related. So she takes it upon herself to visit this kind of backwoods redneck guy that says, yeah, we'll go ahead and take care of those illegal immigrants, but you don't want to see what's going on. And right off the bat, you can kind of tell what kind of personality she has and what kind of person she is. You can tell that she's a lonely person. Uh, you can tell that she's a drinker and that she's not afraid of being alone and she can take care of herself because of the way that she handled herself with this, uh, this guy that's threatening to kill all these illegal immigrants for her. And through a series of flashbacks, you do find out that she is a widow, that she has this farm by herself, and she's a drinker. She watches porn at night by herself. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Most of us watch porn during the day and at night by ourselves. But you also have the story of Oscar. Oscar is from Honduras, and he's trying to make it to America. Uh, so at the beginning, you see him give money to people and to get on a train to come here to America. And the money, it's paper money, is all bloody. So you kind of think already that, oh, some shady stuff happened to get this money. Then you see him come through means of coyotes. And coyotes are the people that bring uh, illegal immigrants here to America by way of usually Texas. And these two paths are about to cross. And it's interesting how they uh, are about to cross. Money. And then through a series of flashbacks, you get the whole, the, the story. By issue five, you get the whole story and you start sympathizing with both characters. And I think that's what's really important about this. And the reason I say that the art really carries the story is because everything is done in their native tongue. So uh, Liddy's story is done in English and Oscar's story is done in Spanish. There are no translations. So a lot of the time, if you don't under, if you don't understand English or read Spanish, you're not gonna get half of the story, but you totally can because the art is so amazing and so well done, so clean and crisp that you really don't need the narration or the dialogue there to understand the situations because we all get caught up in situations like that where language is just this barrier that we need to break down. Ha! No, I totally got that while I was reading the story. Um, I was completely you know, surprised by the story. I love the twist at the end. I can't give away what happens at the end of issue one, but it made me read the story and go on and read it. And it took me about 35 minutes to finish it. I'll show you guys the comics here, but issue three is nothing but a uh, no dialogue issue. There, There is no word spoken. It's all carried through the story. It's it's graphic. It's It's violent. It's got, you know, strong language. Uh, sexual content and nudity so you know it may not be for everybody i did i was asked to do that from now on to tell you guys what uh these stories contain in them since this is a spoiler free review now let's check out some of this artwork and here is the slip case all five issues are included in here nothing too fancy let's see add the individual issues 
It's issue one, two, three, four, and five. And none of the covers give away anything from the story. Now let's look at here and see why I think the art carries the story so much. Uh, here's the decapitated head. There's the introduction of the main characters, Liddy from Texas. And as I mentioned, everything from Oscar's side of the story is done in Spanish. So that is really unique because a lot of the time you see these stories translated into English. And I love the use of the widescreen and the panel layout. But what's important is right here. Let me show you the best use of this. I think right here is such an amazing use of this widescreen format. Uh, you have the story of Lydia on one side and the story of Oscar on the other. And you see the middle central panel get smaller and smaller as he's doing his thing. She's doing her thing. And again, the middle panel is getting smaller because these two worlds are about to collide. Oh, absolutely perfect. Here's issue three, which is the silent issue. You just let the artwork carry the story. As you can tell, that's why I enjoyed the art so much. It is completely gorgeous, and I love the use of panels. Um, I was completely blown away by this. I'm a huge Brian K. Vaughn fan. I have read everything that he has written, and by far, this is one of my favorite books that he has done. So to me, I think this is a book that belongs on everybody's shelf. Or oh, I'm sorry, the slipcase belongs on everybody's shelf. Um, and like I said, you can read it free at the panelsyndicate.com if you want to try it out. Or not free, but for a penny each issue. But solid five out of five. I can't recommend this high enough. It's one of those series, like I said, that doesn't get talked about an awful lot. And that's why I decided to do this video. Um, so I highly recommend everybody checking it out. I think it is important as it is as it was when it was written a couple of years ago digitally and printed now. I think it is just as important of a story. So five out of five. Uh, thank you for watching. This was Omar, the uncanny Omar. Um, so cool. So uh, let's see. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and check out our Patreon where if you enjoy our content, you know, think about supporting our channel. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.